Hollywood is known for its glitz and glamour, but Hollywood also has a morbid history that is hard to ignore, just like this tragic story. Oh, don't look sad. You look cuter with a smile. If it comes from Fruit Corners, it's made with real fruit. Love your eyes. This is Judith Eva Barcy, born in 1978. At age five, she was discovered and appeared in at least 70 commercials, also including various TV shows. And in 1987, she starred in Jaws 4, The Revenge. Soda. <laughs> they had them on the big plane. There's some coffee in the thermos. I'm too young for coffee. Oh. Can I drive? <laughs> If you were a kid in the late 80s, then I'm sure you'll remember the 1988 film, The Land Before Time. She did the voice of Ducky. Me? I'm a long neck too, see? And I have a long tail like you. <laughs> she then did the voice of Anne-Marie in All Dogs Go to Heaven, but sadly, it would be her last film. Psst. Oh, Charlie. Harold and Kate are really wonderful. They weren't upset about the wallet. They gave me real waffles with butter and syrup. Judith was shot and killed instantly by her dad, Joseph Barcy, while she was sleeping in her room. He then murdered her mother, Maria Barcy, in the hallway of the house. We just want to say that we love you and we all miss you very much. Judith and Maria were laid to rest here at Forest Lawn in Hollywood Hills. They both were buried in unmarked graves until Judith's tombstone was placed in 2004 and Maria got her tombstone a year later in 2005. A couple days later, I drove to the house in Canoga Park where the murder-suicide took place. Joseph Barcy had a drinking problem. He had got arrested three times for drunk driving. As his alcoholism got worse, he became more paranoid, jealous, and abusive to Judith and Maria. He had threatened them both many times. After Joseph had murdered his family, he roamed around the house for days with his dead family in the house. He called Judith's agent saying he was going to move out for good but just needed time to say goodbye to his little girl. Joseph then poured gasoline on both bodies and set them on fire. He then went inside the garage and shot himself in the head. Joseph's burial is a mystery. No one knows where he's buried or if he was cremated. This man was a monster. I still can't process his story. It just baffles me that a father would murder his own child. Years later, the new tenants have said they can still feel the dark energy in the house as if Joseph never left. The tragic residue of that night I'm sure still lingers inside that house. The hallway where Maria Barcy lost her life is one of the hot spots of paranormal activity in the house. Sounds of footsteps late at night. The garage door opening and closing on its own. The feeling of being watched. Code spots in Judith's old room. Is it possible the Barcy family still resides in that house? This story was not easy to research, 
It still pains me to think what Judith and Maria endured at the hands of this man on the last days of their lives. I hope they're at peace. Charlie, will I ever see you again? Sure. Sure you will, kid. You know, goodbyes aren't forever. Then, goodbye, Charlie. I love you. <laughs>